This Sunday at Wycliffe Presbyterian Church, we continue on the journey from joy to generosity as we encounter the book of James and learn about the God who gives. Welcome to worship on this Sunday, October 25th, 2020. We're so glad you're joining us here online, wherever you are all around the country. We hope that in the course of our worship service today, you find time to encounter the good news of Jesus Christ. A few announcements as we begin our worship together. First of all, next Sunday is All Saints Sunday, and if you have a friend or family member who has died in the past year that you wish to be remembered as part of that worship service, do make sure to follow the sign-up links or call the church office and let us know the name of who you would like remembered. Coming up on November 8th, we will have a celebration service of those willing to serve, especially focusing on our veterans in preparation for Veterans Day on November 11th. Of course, this morning on October 25th is Consecration Sunday, and we Receive with joy the generosity of the congregation as we remember all of God's good gifts to us. Let us pray and prepare our hearts and minds for worship. O oh God, you gave me the very best of yourself, your Son, Jesus. In joyful gratitude, help me give you the very best of who I am and what I do. Amen. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and shouts of joy. Then it was said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for us, and we rejoiced. Those who sow in tears will reap with shouts of joy. Forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making uh, a way in, in the present and streams in the wasteland. Hear these words from the epistle of James. Every generous act of giving, with every perfect gift, is from above, coming down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In fulfillment of his own purpose, he gave us birth by the word of truth, so that we would become a kind of first fruits of his creatures. Here ends our lesson from James this morning. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for all of your good gifts, perfect and generous as they are. Help us to live in the joy of your gifts all the days of our lives and cultivate within ourselves that same generous spirit that you had as you gave your Son, Jesus Christ. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditations of all of our hearts be pleasing and acceptable in your sight, you, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. It's a celebration. A celebration of joy and generosity. A celebration of consecration, setting ourselves apart. It's a celebration of baptism. Throughout these past weeks, we've been on a journey from joy to generosity. And as we started, we heard about the, the generous God who made us and created us. 
his own image. We discover that our generosity is grounded in gratitude to God for all the gifts we have in this life. We talked about how our generosity is revealed in prayer and we note that by our prayerful willingness to listen when we ask God, what would you do through me? We learn that our generosity is lived in faith, marked by a willingness and conviction to act as God calls us into the world. From joy to generosity and back again, our joy is made complete in Christ. And so today we celebrate God's generosity. We celebrate the generosity of God who in the midst of this world of desire gives us every good gift. God sets us on the right path, points us towards the future, and by our very nature creates us to love and depend on one another. We celebrate that God calls us to faith, offering faith even itself as a gift to us. And so we celebrate God's generosity through all these things and even through the sacrament of baptism. Now as James writes his letter, we pick up pretty far into the first chapter with verse 17. James writes about every generous act of giving, every perfect gift. Other translations say every good gift or all good gifts. I have to say, I love gifts. Maybe you do too. And as we get a little closer to Christmas, some of you are probably getting catalogs in the mail like we are. Joy delivered, gifts for growing minds. Give with all your heart, they say. There is something about giving that makes us feel, well, it can make us feel warm and fuzzy. It can make us feel loved. It can make us feel that we are showing our love. But even more than that, I think when we give, whether it's a simple gift at Christmas time, or whether it's the time and talents and treasures of our life, it impacts us in a positive way. Now, maybe each of you has a favorite gift that you've gotten throughout the course of your life. Maybe you all have a best gift. Some years ago, I asked our church leaders in a retreat setting, what is the the best gift you have ever received? And I have to say, by the end of it, probably about half the room was crying because they were filled with such gratitude to God for the gifts of their children and their family. Recently, I saw a a video where children were offered a a gift of something they really wanted or a gift of something their parents really wanted. You all have probably seen videos like this. and As you can guess, the children were first amazed that, that before them sat the thing that they had desired so long. And then also before them sat the gift that they knew their parents desired. And this small sample of children, when it's told that they could only choose one gift, all of them chose the gift for their parents over their own desire. In our Bible lesson today, we learn and hear and read that every generous act of giving is from above. It comes down from the Father of lights, with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. In him there is no darkness at all. Now Craig Kessler has written of this particular passage of Scripture that it it answers the question, who is God? And it gets there because all throughout this book of James, from the beginning to the end, James talks about faith. Kessler says, throughout the letter, the faith that counts is the faith that is actually operative in a person's life. People might say they believe one thing and yet do something completely different. 
But James insists that true faith is whatever is actually operative in your life. Faith that is not active is no faith at all. With that as a a preface, we can consider in this 17th verse and 18th verse of James in the first chapter, who is God? The answer from James is that we can identify God by what he gives. All good gifts, every generous act of giving, every perfect gift is from God. Our own birth, our salvation in Jesus Christ, all of these things are gifts from God to us. As we've been talking about generosity, we know that every gift counts. Large and small count. Gifts of time and talent and treasure all count. And later on in the book of James, we hear a second question. And that second question is, who are you? Now, what I think is interesting is that we may also be identified by what we give. Not the amount, just the simple fact that we're willing to give at all. The gifts we give are of immense value to God. We bind ourselves to God's own generous spirit as we give gifts to one another. So we celebrate that generosity with thankfulness in our hearts, deeply grounded in gratitude to God for all that He's given us, to each other for the gifts that we share, for the love that binds us together and will not let us go. We celebrate God's generosity even as we continue to pray and listen, saying, what, God, would you do through me? Where is God calling you? To what fantastic horizon is God saying, your gifts and talents have prepared you for this moment? That opportunity itself is a gift. Finally, almost in lockstep with with James, as we celebrate God's generosity, we remember that it is lived in faith. And faith is active. It's active in you and in me and how we live our lives. Not just what we say we believe, but how we act that out. So act it out well. Be filled with the love and grace of God and generously give that love and grace to others. The old production from many years ago of Godspell, there's a song, All Good Gifts. What's interesting is in the middle of the song, Jesus picks up a weed And says, as the chorus sing, all good gifts are from above. He he looks at the weed and says, consider the, the grass or the lilies of the field. Why, they themselves are clothed better than Solomon in all his splendor. And if God cares this much for a weed, think of how much more God must care for you. We Christians care about all God's children. We share love with them generously. We engage in ministry both in the church and in our own personal lives to share God's grace and love with each other. We connect ourselves to God's word of truth in our lived faith. 
we are the first fruits of God's creatures. We are chosen by God. Remember the promise of baptism. Remember that God has chosen you. Each time we have a baptism at Wycliffe Presbyterian Church, when we're presenting the the children, the newly baptized children or adults, we remember these words from the Church of Scotland. For you, Jesus Christ came into the world. For you, he lived and showed God's love. For you, he suffered the darkness of Calvary and cried at the last, It is accomplished. For you, He triumphed over death and rose in newness of life. For you, He ascended to reign at God's right hand. All this He did for you. Though you do not know it yet. And so the word of Scripture is fulfilled. We love because God loved us first. As we celebrate and remember our baptism, We remember those words from the Church of Scotland liturgy. And I can't help but remember each night as I tuck my children into bed, reminding them that they too are marked with the cross of Christ and sealed in Him forever. In the mark of that cross, they are sealed into the story of God's generosity They are sealed into the story of a Savior who lived, died, and rose for them just as He lived, died, and rose for you. So friends, let your joy be complete in Christ as you discover the fruits of generosity in your life. In this day and age, we need to remember the title of God as the Father of Lights. Shining brightly. Driving out darkness. Obedient to truth. Generous. So that we too may learn what it means to be generous. Joy brings generosity, and generosity brings joy, even now. Live in faith, my friends, and remember, our God is identified by what He gives, and He gives every good gift. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him above, ye heavenly hosts. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Let's go.
God who saved my soul. Praise God, praise God, praise God from whom all blessings flow. Let us go to God in prayer. Ever-present God, we praise you for your grace which is always on the move. From death to life, from desolation to hope, from famine to feasting. As we journey through the pain and rejoicing of life, we give thanks that you go with us as our protector and friend, that you have taken us by the hand and have led us. We thank you for all your good gifts. As you welcome us, so you welcome our prayers. We bring them to you with confidence, knowing that you will hear and answer. We pray for the world you created and the people who share it with us. I invite you to say those things that you pray for now. We pray for our country and for its people. We pray for our local community. We pray for the people we know and love. Pour out your Spirit upon us, O God. Fix our hearts and minds on what is true and honorable and right. Give us the joy and peace that comes from knowing and doing your will. Keep us faithful to the call we have received in Christ Jesus our Lord, extending your loving invitation to the world around us. And now we pray together the prayer that you have taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. My friends, we are blessed to serve a generous God. And in Him, through His Son Jesus Christ, our joy is made complete. Joy brings generosity, and generosity brings joy. Be generous and live your faith these days. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance towards you and give you peace in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.